So, here we go. It's time crisis. I've got to collaborate the gun con. Did anyone actually ever own a gun con? Let me know, guys. I remember seeing them in the shops. Never used one, never held one. But yeah, time crisis. There's been a kidnapping. There's been a kidnapping. Um, the PlayStation version. So the port from the arcade. Now, I adored this game in the arcade. And I also... Yeah, let's go arcade. I also thought this was a fantastic PlayStation game as well in its own right. Um, spent a lot of time playing this. Didn't own it. But we knew a guy. It's always the same old story. We used to actually go over his house whenever his parents went away. Look at this guy. And we'd have, like, just sessions on this game. I used to be quite handy at it. I don't think I'm going to be anymore because my reflexes or my reaction times aren't as good. I am emulating this on RetroArch using the mouse. Which will be interesting. Will make things a bit easier for me. There's not a chance I'm going to play this on the controller. Could you play this on the PS1 controller? I'm sure you could. Anyway, so I'm not upscaling or anything like that. This is native. This is how it would have looked on your PS1's back in the day. Oh, yeah, this feels fantastic to play. I'm not the biggest fan of light gun games. But I adore this. I mean, when I was a very, very young kid, ZX Spectrum days, I used to play a lot of Operation Wolf and its sequel, Operation Thunderbolt, because they were also in the arcade. Loved them. And I really liked light gun games again when I was a young kid. But when I was a bit older, I kind of fell off. But then I saw this in the arcade. And just couldn't stop playing the arcade version. And like I say, really like this version. Still feels incredibly tight and fun to play. Really satisfying to play this game is. And it blew me away when it hit the PS1. I, I think there's Time Crisis on PS2 and PS3, isn't there? I'm not going to do the reviews thing today, guys. Because there's not a chance... I can check the other screen for reviews whilst I'm playing this. Just like, no. But I think this reviewed really well across the board anyway. Everyone loved the arcade version, didn't they? It was the kind of game when you'd walk into the arcade and it'd be pumping. The audio would be so loud from that specific Time Crisis cabinet and everyone just watching the, the guy or the, or the gal playing it and just like... Like I say, people gathering round. I I'm on about when this first hit. It first hit our streets, man. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, like I say, it was always the popular game in the arcade. Or rather, in our Laser Zone. Anyone remember Laser Zone or Laser Quest? Those types of places. I think ours is a cinema now. I don't think it's the Laser... Laser Quest, it was called. I don't think it's the Laser Quest anymore. It's gone. But I loved that place. Waiting. Waiting your turn. Waiting for your group to go in for some laser action. Um, so we'd all hit the arcade first. PS1. What a console. What a console. Just so many good games. And all this was, like, mind-blowing to me at the time. Because I couldn't afford a good game in PC. I had, like, a bog-standard Packard Bell PC for college work. And it could run f a few games, but it couldn't run the very best of games, you know? So the PS1 was just, like, 289 quid, I think, my PS1 cost. It was either 289 or 389. I'm actually doing all right with this. And um, I had a PC gaming console, what, or what I thought was, like, a PC gaming console, or rather a... Like an, a little arcade machine in your bedroom. Because you had all these cool-ass games. I mean, do you, you didn't get this on PC, I don't think. I don't know. Let me know, guys. Oh, I think there's a helicopter bit later in this level. Or it might be... Oh, it's around now, I think. No, I think it's the end of this stage boss, is it? The helicopter? Oh, I don't know. Oh, here it is. Look at these dudes. 
Oh. Reload. Oh, I'm running out of time. I'm running out of time. Oh, time is up. It really ramps up in difficulty. As soon as you kind of get used to the gameplay mechanics in the first stage or two, you're like, yeah, yeah, I'm brilliant at this game. And then all of a sudden, boom, here we go. And it gets ridiculous. I mean, that's... I always say this on the channel, but it's an obvious thing to say. But that's how Namco, in this case, they published this game, would have made their money from their arcade cabinets, unless you were amazing. And I think you can play two-player, can't you, in this? Co-op. So, does that make it easier? I never played it two-player. Or does it just... Or does the game just throw in more enemies if there's two of you? I don't know. Oh, I need to play the sequels now. I really want to play the games that, uh, that followed their sequels. You all know what sequels are. Um, <laughs> sorry, guys. I'm trying to concentrate. It's got a lot harder... <laughs> Lots more enemies now. Oh! I wonder if you can actually blow that car up. I guess you got to be mega, mega quick. Yeah, um, I've only ever played this, the original. I, I don't think I've ever played any other Time Crisis. I think there's four of them, isn't there? I'm not entirely sure. Okay. Action! Oh, it's getting hairy out here. The drawbridge has come down. Oh my god, there's three of them. Three rocket dudes. I'm either going to die or time is up. There you go. Let's try that again. This is so good. So, so good to play all of these years later. Okay. I don't think I ever owned a light gun either as a, um, an accessory for any of the consoles. I mean, we had the Super Scope on the SNES, didn't we? I didn't know anyone who, who owned that. We had the, Obviously, we had the NES light gun, which was bundled with the NES for a lot of people. I didn't get that bundle with Duck Hunt. I think you got the Duck Hunt and Mario Bros. all in one cartridge, didn't you? And the light gun. But I had the Teenage Mutant Hero Turtles bundle, so which was a bit later on in the NES's uh, life cycle. But yeah, I've never owned a light gun, guys. I think even the Zenit Spectrum, there was a dodgy light gun you could get for it. I'm pretty sure there was. Action. Right. Oh, it is good playing this with a mouse, I must say. It's, it's lots of fun, guys, this is. Ah! Anyway, that's Time Crisis. You've all played it. Well, I assume you all have. It stood the test of time. It's fantastic. Let me know your memories with this game. I'll speak to you all very soon. Take care.